Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Balan, and this is Mystical Skies. Woo! Oh, okay. Yeah, check that out. That that's just wrong. It's so wrong. I have to fly straight up just for this stuff to line up. Otherwise, my face falls off. Oh my gosh, it's so terrible. Anyway, <laughs> let's come in here for a landing. I have. Uh, let's see. I pressed the wrong button there, but that's okay. I have a couple ideas on stuff to work on. Uh, I just want to make sure that my oh my volume is off. Okay. Well, anyway, there we go. We're back. Um, I let this stuff run for a while. I set out some more pools. Nothing really fancy. I did. I could have uh, set this up much better, but I did not want to build anything that was more advanced than what I already had without it being on camera or, or recording at least. So there you go. I also put a lever over here just so that this stuff would stop, even though it's already full and stopped. Um, this way, I'm not accidentally just pulling stuff with my magic pouch either. <laughs> I still need to figure out which flower that is that stops that. I got to remember and make one of those ASAP. But before I do, <laughs> in fact, I could probably look that up in my book. Uh, let's let's have a look here if I left click this and then I do what is it uh, generating no functional flora. And I think annoying flower really. It's got like a little doge. That's pretty cute. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one it is. You know, I'm going to take a look real quick just to see which one it is that shuts off magnets. And then I'll be back in a moment. Oh, oh, wait. Well, the Solignolia is the one I'm talking about, but it works for the ring of magnetization. So I don't know if that's going to work or not, but either way, I could still make it and we could find out. Two brown, red, blue, and a redstone root. Um, there's blue, red, red, blue, or brown, brown. And then I can just kind of put this... In, in here? Okay. I can put this in like that. Okay, that'll work. And these... Actually, was that even on? Yeah, it's in a petal apothecary. All right, so then I just need redstone root, which I don't remember how to make that. Redstone and grass. Okay, fair enough. Got some grass. Just need to get some redstone, which I don't even have any over here. I was a little surprised about that. Oh, uh, yeah, things I did. I upgraded all my chests to diamond chests because diamonds are a lot easier to make than obsidian. So <laughs> I, I kind of did that, but I left this one alone because it, it pretty much has everything that I'm looking for here. Um, in fact, I might... I was thinking about bringing those diamonds over, but I think I'll be all right. Um, I do need a bit of redstone. So actually, I will just take all these loose redstone right here. And I can probably do this and this. Redstone root. Yay. All right. And I'll just fly back over here real quick. I'd, having this over here, I realize it's not exactly convenient, but it gives me an excuse to use the wings, which I absolutely love. So <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Now I just need, it's not showing me the recipe. Did I mess that up? Uh, let's go back. No back two brown a red and a blue oh shoot so i got one too many for those who don't know just sneak right click with an empty hand will take out things from the petal apothecary there we go so i just need a seed which i think there it is there we go seed here yay all right solignolia which if i put it here should cover a pretty decent area it's it's going to use it's going to use uh, the mana. Oh, well, you know, it's going to use such a small amount. I'm not really worried about it. But let's try this out, shall we? Um, I'm going to start by flicking that lever. Instantly, I started grabbing stuff. Yeah, I think it only works with the ring of magnetization, doesn't it? Doggone it. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to come up with a different kind of backpack or pouch or something so that I can do this. And yes, I upgraded these with chests as well. I could have made them into these, like drawers and whatnot with, with upgrades. But I figured, you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm just going to do the diamonds because I've got these over here. I didn't want them in two different places. It just seemed weird to me. And you, I'm actually just going to store for now because, because that's not working the way I want it to. So I'll just grab these. Why is why are those still coming out? I turned that off. 
There we go. Okay, I had turned it on. My bad. Put those in there. Put this flower up here for now. <laughs> Redstone and a red petal. We're just going to click on here. There we go. All right. So things that I plan on doing are starting off with me making a mana tablet, uh, which is one of these suckers here. Just needs some living rock. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, and in one of the um, reward bags, I actually got a fire rune, which is pretty darn convenient. I only got four of those. Well, I can fix that. There we go. And now with this, I can craft. Oh, wait. Nothing, because I needed that. There we go. Put these here. That mana tablet get. And now if I click on this, oh, that's pretty cool. But it's not going to do anything until I use my wand, because right now it is tablet into the pool. We want the pool into the tablet. There we go. And now if you notice, each one of these is actually pouring one into the other into the other. And they're all kind of like aiming down here. So <laughs> it's kind of the thing. Therefore, if I turn this thing back on, there we go. It should also start generating mana while it's using it. But it's going to suck up at least a half a pool's worth, I think, just to fill this thing up. Yep. And yep, there we go. And it is automatically repairing my Man of Steel Ayat. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty handy. And of course, you can wear this. But where to wear it? You know what? I could probably... I can't... Oh, it's not... It's not a bauble? Can I turn this into a bauble? I thought that it was a bauble by default. Or do I just need to have it in my inventory? Let's see. Um, I can't really see myself very well here. Is it on one of my sides? Oh yeah, I think it's under my arm. Here. What we can do to find out this is because I believe Quark is in here too. Uh, let's look up. Point. Numpad 2. Okay, I assigned it to numpad 2. There we go. There it is. So you can see it on my hip if, if you missed it. There it is again. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, what, what I've actually... I think I saw someone on Reddit say this or something. Where you assign point to be the letter Q as well. So when you throw things, you actually will like raise your arm at the same time as you're throwing things out, which I think is pretty darn cool. <laughs> but then again, if you if you don't want to throw things and you just want to point that, then you have to have an empty hand. So anyway, <laughs> or else you lose the stuff. But this will work. This is going to be a little bit noisy for a, bit, for a while. But I mean, heck, I'm using heavy fuel dust and man, have I got heavy fuel dust. I made so much of it. I also put the anti-gravity uh, block up here on top of that thing. Why? I don't know. But I can still just run by underneath it um, where it currently is so I don't get picked up by it. One block further down and I would get it. If I want to, I can just jump and I'm in this field already where I can like do the creative thing. But if I, like, if I stand on my bed, then it counts as it. But once I hit the ground... I'm good. So that was that's pretty cool, actually, having that up about that height. Which uh, let's see how many blocks that is. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the eighth block. And then you've got like this large area above you, so you can always run around on the ground. And as soon as you do a little jump, you're in the air and have uh, flight using your sneak key, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. All right. So now that I have that mana tablet and my tool. Well, auto repair. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Um, I was thinking we'd still move on further with this because I'm really enjoying having a bit of Batania. I haven't done it in so long, but it's been it's been nice. Uh, so both of these are done. The Nether is getting there, which actually you guys told me. <laughs> I think twice now you've told me in the comments that all I need to do is throw the equivalent skeleton version, like a skull or bone, which this is my mob drops here, like a regular bone, I throw it in there and it'll come out as a withered bone. I throw in a regular skull and I will get a withered skull. So I totally missed that. It is in the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hold on. The Book of the Well, but I did not read the Book of the Well. I've been following the quest line instead. It looks like a blank skull from Mystical Agriculture. Oh, and Skull Essence. Bleh. 
So it's not an easy way of getting these uh, skulls one way or another unless I've got a mob farm. And I don't have that just yet. I might end up getting one. I think that could be pretty cool. But at the moment, it's not not my priority. I'm looking more to more to make a bunch of stuff in Batania. So let's go over here, click on the button, see what we can come up with. Uh, I was originally talking about making some machines so I could get some blaze rods to progress. Which actually, did I even get any achievements for making that tablet? No. Much disappoints were had. But uh, the runic... I, before I was looking at the alchemy catalyst, I don't think I looked at the runic altar to see if that requires blaze right no it just requires a mana pearl or mana diamond which is pretty darn cheap actually because diamonds aren't that bad anymore they're actually really easy to come by uh, and in fact i will take some of these bring them over there so that i can just drop them in as i want to and i believe if i stand on this can i just almost no it, see that one it's not working i have to stand on this one there we go. Even with my magical magnet bag, I can still do that. And I think I'm going to need more living rock, is what I think. Do I have any stone? Yes. Yes, I do. So let's take a stack of this. And instead of grabbing my wand, I'm just going to put these down manually. Yeah, it's a thing. So, and I'm going to bring this back over here instead. Let's put it there. Because that'll be a little bit easier to get to, I think. Even though I've got it saved over there, I I'm finding that going anywhere near this area is just going to be detrimental to me. <laughs> Man, I really want to get to that really cool armor just because it looks so neat. Um, but anyway, that shouldn't be too bad. Then I can get to the agglomeration plate and terra steel and stuff, and I can get through all this. The alchemy catalyst, yes, I can make blaze rods by progressing with machines. Um, but I was kind of thinking I'd like to start getting this uh, set up and making some terra steel ingots because they take so long to make because of the amount of mana that is required for this is pretty ridiculous. So if you don't know what's going on here, let me click. This mana spreader is the only one that is attached to all the flowers. And it is being fed into this here, this pool. And then because this mana spreader is next to it, it automatically will uh, take from it into whatever it is aiming at, which it's aiming in the next one. Then this one's aiming into the next one, this one's aiming into the next one, this one's aiming into the next one. So they're basically just kind of like zigzagging their way down into this, which was just used to fill my mana tablet. So if I really wanted to be a little bit better about it, I probably should have just filled my mana tablet in this one. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have all of these running at once. But at least now you can see what's going on and you can understand it a little bit better. Uh, but the idea here is that I can start using from here and work my way back uh, on these if needed. But I think it'll be alright. I don't have a spark network hooked up yet. That is something in the works though. I've got my fully repaired tool. Which by the way, this thing does 9 damage. So it's also my current melee weapon. A lot better than my uh, uh, soon to break wooden laser gun, which I've already used uh, a sixth of its power. So let's see if we can do this and this. Runic altar get. Cool. It's just cool, folks. And then I can put this here. Ooh. Hmm. I could put it here. Yeah, okay. I got an idea. Got an idea. It will require one, two, three, four, five, six of these. One of those and a bar of gold. There we go. So I can make another, yet another, mana spreader to power it with. I always get those mixed up. There we go. And then I can put it here. Jump up there. And right click it, or shift right click it, sneak right click here. And then it will power anything that's needed from this mana pool. Excellent, right? Or, well, not really, but you get the idea. I mean, if anything, this will guarantee that everything gets filled up. And yes, using sparks, there's much simpler ways of doing this than what I currently have set up. But nonetheless, it, it's still going to work out. So I've got that one done. We can move on. We can actually make living rock bonsai pots. I don't really want to do the bonsai pots because I've been doing them in like every pack. 
It's just a bonsai pot, which is heavy ingots. Living That's actually really cheap. I might as well do that just to get the achieve out of the way. Because I've got a whole bunch of heavy ingots over here ready to smash. Um, that I've got. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can grab some of the living rock that I... Well, I guess I need to make more living rock because I don't have enough again. Um, actually, I do. I've got five. So what I'm going to do, though, is grab this and set out some more. There. I might actually look up to find my wand. Where's my where's my diamond wand? Huh. I thought it... Oh! There it is. I totally forgot that that's where it was. If I knew it was there that whole time, that would have been a lot easier. Anyway, let's make a bonsai pot and then make it a living rock bonsai pot. Which... Living rock bonsai pot. What's the advantage of that? It says... Quest complete. No, it says the living rock bonsai pot is a mystic version of the bonsai pot, but it can use mana to boost growth. Oh, right, 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 right. But it needs the bonsai pot manager to work, which... Whoa, what the heck is that? That's an ender pearl? That looks crazy. Well, I can come up with all those except for the ender pearl, unless that has a crafting recipe that I can make. Separator? No, we're not using the separator. That's like an uncrafter, really. We could toss diamonds in with the dimension catalyst. Oh, that's pretty cool. That really opens up a whole lot of stuff. Um, Thumbcraft, alloy smelter. Okay, well, unless there's a way of making ender fragments. No, enderman essence. Nope, nothing really too easy there. Which, again, mob spawner would help considerably. But we'll see. So, let's take a look at the next steps in here. Uh, in fact, I will save, uh, I will hold off on getting the, the crates and stuff. Terrestrial agglomeration plate. One of the most overworded <laughs> words there are. A block and a multi block structure that allows you to craft terra steel, which, yeah. Agglomeration plate. Whoa, there's a Gaia agglomeration plate? From Botanic Editions. All these uh, all these Botania editions, I've never messed with any of them before. I've only ever messed with straight up Botania. So this is really a learning experience for me. Alright, well I've got a Rune of Fire. Blocks of Mana Steel and Lapis are not a problem. Rune of Earth, Water, Mana, and Air. Okie dokie, let's put this on the list of things to make. Let's start with the Rune of Water. Um, a fishing rod, really? Mana powder? Well, there's going to be a lot of flying back and forth, folks. Let's see, bone meal, sugar canes, mana powder. That's tossing any of these items into... There. Don't I have mana powder? I do. I think I can grab one of those. And I think that these are all going to go on this, right? Yes, they do. And they float and look really cool in the process. <laughs> Alright, so, terrestrial agglomeration plate. Is a block and a multi-block structure? I already know that. It's this that I wanted. The water rune. Um, which... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Put all the runes on my quick list, because I'm going to need to know how to make those if I'm to progress at all in Batania. So, water. I need... Mana steel ingot, not a problem. Bone meal, sugar cane. I think I can make those. Uh, so let's see about that. Also, people gave me a great idea about the rain that keeps happening, especially during blood moons, because then I can't make it go away. There's a, what is it, uh, Teru Teru Bozu, I think it is. Yeah, Teru Teru Bozu. For those that don't know, this is straight up Batania. It's normal. You can make it in here with, oh, mana weave cloth? That's dumb cheap. Don't I have a bunch of string? Um, but uh, you feed it sunflowers, right? And you, f when you feed it sunflowers during a rainstorm, it stops raining. <laughs> so that's really good. Okay, I know that I can make string because I was able to make a bed. So let's look at how to make uh, string. Uh, is it wool or is it just regular string or what? It is iridescent leaves. Or is it It's just... Any of the leaves? I think it's any of the leaves. We'll make string. So that's kind of a weird crafting recipe, but let's try it. Uh, recipe, 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 recipe. And in fact, it uses what? Kinaf? Okay. 
There we go. Got plenty of string. Boop. And then I can craft that up if I want. But one, two. What is it to make the mana infused? Is four. Well, that's cool. For one, and I need two of those. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And in fact, that also makes a really cool set of armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we could make that. Let's just do a bunch of those. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to make a bunch more. Let's grab some more of the leaves. We're going to use mysterious ones this time. Uh, and no, they not work. <laughs> Recipe. Oh, it takes regular leaves only. Oh. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Do I have... I don't have a sapling growing. I remember how to make one. I just need a little bit of... There we go, wood essence. And then I should have some shears. Um, you see, this is like a recall back to the things that I've already done. This should make an oak sapling. And then I can plant the oak sapling. Wait a few seconds and it should grow automatically because it's just darn fast on this fertile soil block. There it goes. And then harvest. Perfect. And then mana ayat. <laughs> so good. Okay. I also get some wood that way too. Cool. So yeah, I've got basically my wood items, my nether items. Uh, I've got just uh, random cosmetic stuff. Uh, then I've got like mob drops, my solus items, and the Batania plans that I have for the trees over there. I still haven't done those. I need to do that. Regular blocks of like stone and whatnot, plus excess fertilized essence. I made way too many by accident. I overclicked. My general crafting area. Uh, then tools, you know, supplies, and food. That's pretty much what I've got going on here. And I think these all just have fuel in them. Oh! Heavy iron ingots, or heavy, yeah, just heavy ingots, which I'm storing over here because I keep on turning them into nuggets and smashing them, <laughs> as well as the uh, uncooked versions. But anyway, um, I need to make a bunch more string. So let's just do a whole lot. Cool. I'm going to throw a whole stack's worth in here and see what I can make with that into the mana pool. Oi. Okay, I don't know if I can stand on this one. I might be able to stand on this one, though. And it might... Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Alright, so that was 37. Because <laughs> I think you can only craft so much before you actually start picking them up again. There we go, a little bit more than a stack. That'll work. Okay, then I can craft these together to make a weave cloth. That's a decent amount. I think I'm going to need more than that, though. Because it's going to take me, what, to make... um. A robe, bottom, which is actually the legs, I think. The hat, robe top, the shoot, wait, okay, so yeah, so that's going to be 24 for that. So might as well do that because I think that'll just be really cool. It'll look neat. I think it'll also save me on some mana or something. I can't remember what it does. Uh, it's been so long since I actually made it, but let's drop in some more string. Can I? No, it didn't work. All right, try again. There we go. That's a little bit better. Plus, I'm going to need a couple extra of these. Perfect! Oh, that's excellent! That's exactly what I needed for this. Now I need a sunflower. In order to make a sunflower... I thought that I could make a sunflower with um, a bunch of mystical agriculture stuff. Sunflower. I thought that I could actually make it. sunflower seeds. Is it, is it going to actually grow me a sunflower? Well, that just makes a sunflower. This here. Now, I don't care about aspect. Mana infusion. But I, I, I don't have that yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I swear I could make stuff with... Was it wood essence? Nature essence. I swear I could make sunflowers with that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crud! Okay, so maybe I can't, and I need the uh, alchemist. Well, at the very least, I can make myself that really cool set of armor. 
Uh, so let's do that. And I've got a couple here. And I think I need trousers. And then it leaves me two left for the Terra Terra Bozu, which is, that's fine. Imagination Forest. Oh, that was an achievement. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's see. Uh, we will compare this outfit to the other and see how it looks uh, to iron as far as defense. So two, and I have no idea how much it gives. <laughs> All right, let's put on the iron armor. So we've got two and a half armor left. Now if I put this on, oh, that barely gives me leather. But I look amazing, minus the, the eyeballs. They look a little bit wonky. And the fact that I've got a fat head, I've got a hood of my own already on, it just looks really interesting at the very least. Okay, so what does it give me as a set? 35% less mana cost on mana tools and rods. Increased proficiency with magical rods. Neat. Okay. Well, I'm not exactly going anywhere right now, and I might as well use it for um, just keeping things going at the moment. I mean, I, I, I feel like I need to put these eyes away. They just look really weird. How about the mask? Is the mask going to look okay? That works. I like the mask. It works with this outfit. <laughs> All right, so once again, I'm still going to need to build that machine to get blaze rods. 